Congratulations on the film. Um, how early into the process did you get involved and what was it about the story itself that kind of spoke to you when you when you got involved? I got involved incredibly early in the process from a very personal point of view as I live in the town of Clevedon. My boys, Tom and Joe, they go to the same school as the boys in the film. I live there, I knew Singe, I knew Kate in the last 12 months of her life. Um, so I witnessed the events, I saw uh, the effect it had on the whole community, I saw the effect of the beginnings of the list capturing the imagination of the press and then Penguin Books. Singe came up to me and said, there's a lot of interest from film companies. Well, you're a filmmaker, why don't you do it? I actually said, well, to be honest, the movie, the movie industry might mess this up, might fuck it up. The movie industry might mess this up. But what I can do is I'll stand by your side and I'll give you the rules and the conditions and the lines you should draw to really make this work so that you keep secret some of the things from private. In the year that he was writing the book with the ghostwriter, I was kind of thinking about how would you do this? And I thought I was going to be arming him with just some information to help. And I began to realise it was actually I was... I was getting myself ready to go, I think I know how to do this. And then from a storytelling point of view, there's something profoundly um, classic, which is weird to say this, because I have to put this arm's length storyteller from this true story, profoundly classic about the obstacles we face, and there's no bigger obstacle than the journey they each have to go on. And the fact that her list started out as a series of instructions. He said in the last three months of her life, it's not a bucket list, it's not a bucket list of things she wants to do. He said, how am I going to do this without you? So she gave him a set of instructions. Then it segued into memories, recollections, then almost definitions of herself. And she tried to keep it light and fun. But actually, she's putting, she's memorialising herself. Uh, and the journey they both go on, and the film breaks a timeline into two halves, from diagnosis to her passing, from her passing to a year later, when he fulfils... The beginning of one of her biggest instructions was find yourself another woman. Because if he's following the rest of the list, he had to do that. She wanted him to settle down, for the boys to have stability in their lives. And I took those two halves, diagnosis to death, death to moving on, overlaid them. And in that, there's a journey between these two people. And one of them is going no further than one destination, and the other has to move on. But what she was doing with that list was arming him with the tools to move on. It just felt like it's what stories are made of. Let me ask you quickly before I go uh, about Rafe and Amelia's casting. Were they the people you wanted from the very beginning and, and were yes. they integral to, to making the film work, I guess? Yeah, they were people I wanted from the beginning. I mean, I, I know Millie from a long way back from keeping mum 10 years ago and I just thought there's a side to her that I was meeting whenever I'd see her for drinks and dinner and I thought, no one's ever seen that on screen and I want that because that warmth and that personality is who Kate is. And Rafe's one of those actors who just takes material and flies with it. You know, a lot of it was scripted, a lot of it was like, can we just try this? And he just goes in those directions. And the way that they embraced the responsibility of a film like this was it was, it was, it was a privilege to watch them deliver their goods in the town where this true story... We were treading in the footsteps of the people this had actually happened to, and it was a real privilege and honour to do it. What do you hope audiences will take away from, from the movie when they, when they see it? I hope the audiences will take away the fact that life is short, you've got to make the most of every moment, you've got to love those who love you and just make the most of things. It's, it's a love story. It's a love story between husband and wife, mother and children, father and children. And I hope that's what... It's, it's an incredibly sad story. It's incredibly upsetting, but it's all about love. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys!